Okay, in this problem, we're going to simplify the square root of negative 180. So first off, we're going to factor out a negative 1. I'm going to rewrite this as negative 1 times 180. Okay, so we can also break down 180. Um, I know 180 is like 18 times 10, so it's divisible by 9. So let's start to break it apart that way. So I'm going to have negative 1 times 9 times 20. Um, 20 is 4 times 5, so we can break this apart further. So we have negative 1 times 9 times 4 times 5. And now we can break these apart into separate square roots. So we can have the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 4 uh, times the square root of 5. Okay? Um, Square root of negative 1 is going to be i. Uh, square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 4 is 2. And square root of 5, we're going to leave as a square root of 5. That's an irrational number. Uh, so the most exact form is to leave it as a square root of 5, as putting it on the calculator would only approximate the number. So times the square root of 5. Now one thing we want to have here is we want to have plus or minus because for each of these um, you can multiply a positive, for instance, square root of 9, you can multiply a positive 3 times a positive 3 to get 9, or you can multiply a negative 3 times a negative 3 to also get 9. Um, so we're going to write our solution as plus or minus. Let's do 3 times 2, that gives me 6 times i, so 6i times the square root of 5, like so. So that indicates two solutions. One is the negative 6i times the square root of 5, and also we would have the positive 6i times the square root of 5. And that's it.